back to the game. Welcome to Nightmare Mode. If you survive, you will gain some additional insight to the world of cooking companions, as well as unlocking new game plus and a chompets only event. This mode is mostly just a joke, so don't take it seriously. From the main menu, if you select new game, you can immediately jump to this mode and other ones. <clears throat> if you make it to the end, you'll unlock the chompets cabin courses, a chompet only event free of humans. For true cooking companions experience, this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. It's noon. Like, I can make the room slightly darker. But not much. I've got, I have no curtains. <clears throat> yeah, that's as dark as the room gets. That's it. That's as dark as I can make it. <laughs> that was, that's it. It's okay, I need to be seen anyways. You'll need to max out your relationships. Don't worry, you'll get an opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. I should really make a manual save right now. Don't hesitate. Thank you for getting this far. Your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. Oh, almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. You wake up in the bathroom again. Oh. Uh, oh. Out of toilet paper again. Find a strange note. Hear the cold air crawling under the door. About the strange presence note. <sighs> this is my room. How dark it is. But I can look at you. Look at me. Scared? Run! 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 <laughs> I am scared. You wake in a cold sweat. That was a close one. The surroundings feel completely different. Raya's presence is enraged. She's beckoning you to follow her. Get up and leave the bedroom. <laughs> Beautiful sunny day outside. Fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. Head to the kitchen for some breakfast. Perfect. Took ages to clean. Take a few bites of meat! <laughs> Stare into the ash pile in the oven. Are they still upset? Head back to the bedroom and take a nap. Which one of them is causing this? Raya? Anatoly? <coughs> Gregor? <C> Karen. <coughs> Karen, clean up your mess. Crawl into bed and fall asleep. You have a strange dream. Really? Oh, oh, six sixteen. I don't wanna. You gonna leave them soon? You nod. Perfect. He knows how to improve on your methods. I hope you share that knowledge with me, so we can outlive even the angriest of spirits. <coughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Aaron? Aaron isn't here. Sounds like she's whittling something again. Did she escaped the basement? Aaron? No reply. You head over to investigate. No one in the living room. Another trick by one of them. Who's still missing, Karen? Someone is tapping on the window. Hello? Hi! 
I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Are you done, Anatoly? Be more bold in their actions. Head to bed to sleep on it. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> the four have returned to the first floor of the cabin. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen? Come with me to the living room. Don't argue. Crawl out of bed to face them. Karen? Oh. We've been waiting all day. Be satiated by this opportunity. Would you like to start the ritual? What ritual? A ritual to manifest alternative possibilities. Mistakes mended. Regrets unrooted. Let the others depart earlier than me. Let me survive this time. This means join hands with us and form this pact. Ritual is unlike anything you've ever heard of. Brain to the back could result in roars worth than death. Anger channeled and linked. Extremely dangerous. There might be no going back from this decision. Think carefully before making a decision. This might be a good time to save the game. <laughs> Have you made a decision? You nod. Save Mariah. Wonderful. Take my hand. Take Karen's hand. <clears throat> Hold on to both of their hands. Eyes cold to the touch. Chosen correctly. I'm proud of you. See you soon. Breathing begins to slow. Frost collects on the windows. One of your eyes rolls backward, causing you to drool a little bit on the floor. No. Sheesh! Something has gone horribly wrong. I take us some coffee. Coffee's always right. Anatoly picks the shorter stick first, leaving the cabin. Then Gregor goes. Then Karen. Anatoly, Gregor, Karen. Once the three are gone, it's just you alone with Mariah. Thank you for getting me through all of this. Mariah smiles. Eating the meat breaks most people, but not her. <clears throat> storm clouds dissipate. The sun comes out again. I'm so happy the storm clouds have gone away. I couldn't have done this without you. Mariah's eyes wide and looking into yours. I... I want to stay here and take care of you. All my life I've been looking for my true calling, and it was you all along. I need to ask me the question again. I am here, 75% of my own free will, 65% by compulsion. She answered correctly. How did she know? But your arthritis is extremely bothersome. You want me to show you a special technique my grandmother taught me to help with the pain? You nod. <clears throat> Great. Sit down in the rocking chair and let me go to work. You sit down in your rocking chair, watching intently as Mariah comes back with a towel and a bucket of water. I hope this is the start of a beautiful relationship. Close your eyes and relax. Close your eyes, smiling. Mariah gets close to you. Mariah throws you to the ground, sinking the knife into your chest. Finally over. No more victims. No more grieving parents. Your reign of terror is over. Future path? You're slowly bleeding out, but it's taking longer than expected. I'm going to tell everyone in Zach of Pain about what happened here. Once all the remains are recovered, <clears throat> I'm burning this head to the ground. I try to get out a few words, but one lung has completely collapsed. Don't talk. Your hearing begins to fade in and out as you're losing consciousness. Unlike the taking, no chances to watch you die in front of me. Then, ash. Your body finally gives out, a stain removed off the earth. A storm cloud lifts off of every town. I didn't survive it. After the events in the Tatras Mountains, Mariah embraces her destiny. 
the lessons of the cabin would break most people, but Mariah uses it to become a stronger person. After burying Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen, she worked with the Polish government to eventually return home to Ukraine. In April of 1945, <clears throat> Mariah is selected to attend a conference in San Francisco. She's picked over Dmitry Manulski to represent Ukraine at the first meeting of the United Nations. Elected to the first committee, <clears throat> she helped create the preamble in Chapter 1 with the UN. Years later, she would go on to form a committee to investigate atypical beings. Using the cabin as a blueprint, countries around the world began to document the numerous abnormalities impacting everything from death rates to food prices. The committee's investigations revealed that many historical events were swayed, either directly or indirectly, by these atypical beings. Mariah proved expert provided expert testimony for many of the trials that took place. Books and notes found in the cabin gave helpful insight for prosecutory efforts around the world. Nice. She reached 85 years old. Mariah became bedridden due to cancer. Oh. Surrounded by loved ones, she tells everyone in the room about the cabin. I miss them. <clears throat> Anatoly, Gregor, Karen. But I leave this earth happy, knowing I shared their memories with all of you. I'm sure Gregor would be laughing right now. March 15th, Mariah finally passed away due to complications. Surrounded by loved ones, her legacy is one of service and warmth. Cities become safe again. Children can explore freely. The world is now a better place from her actions. Aww. I liked that ending. That was a good ending. Really? Enter nightmare mode. All right, we're entering nightmare mode again, apparently. <coughs> Watched all this. Find a strange note. Okay. Uh... Add a toilet paper again. Huh? I don't know. I'm trying to click on everything, maybe. Like, I already get everything. <laughs> This is my room. I've never already done this. <laughs> I am scared. Why is Gaster in this game? Surroundings feel completely different. <laughs> gotcha. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. What a fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. Head to the kitchen for some breakfast. I could. Fine. Yes. You made a decision, you nod. Reject their offer. You wasted this opportunity. Rot in heck. some sort of test. Not the right decision, though. You crawl back into bed, still shaken from the experience. The sheets are drenched in sweat. You catch something moving out of the corner of your eye. You crawl out of bed to see what it is. It feels like 3 a.m. Nothing is moving around the bedroom anymore. Just your imagination again. Hit the basement door. Is Karen still alive? The cold wind blows through the crack in the door. <laughs> Wake in a cold sweat. Wake up on the cold bathroom floor. The door is locked. Did one of them hide the key in here? Hmm. Where do you want to check first? 
garbage can. Check the garbage can underneath the sink. It's empty, like your soul. So the tub. Mouse poop and dust have gathered underneath the tub. This needs to be swept. Into the mirror. Get ready to look at your reflection <laughs> in the mirror. Nah. Asshole seems perfectly rounded, like someone used sandpaper on the edges. Do chompettes do this? Back of the garbage can. Just like a gigantic spider back here. <clears throat> Disgusting. There's some scratches on the side of the tub. What happened there? No, thank you. The hole itself is pitch black. Would the flashlight be helpful? Might aggravate whatever horror lies in wait. Nothing of note underneath the sink. Why aren't towels under here? Arm in the mouse hole? Yes. Yeah. Slowly put your entire arm inside the mouse hole and feel around. Oh, wow. The presence of something behind you. She is pushed into your hand. Pull your arm out. Lifting up the toilet seat to take a celebratory bathroom break. Her hands are shaking uncontrollably from the whisper. She has fallen into the toilet. Reach in the filthy toilet to get the key. Ah, uh, yes. The only way to get out of the bathroom. Plunge your hand into the toilet, grasping blindly for the key. Must have gone down the pipe. Oh, wow. Oh, really put your hand into a filthy backed up toilet, huh? Seems to be a new low for you. <laughs> Are you finally going to wash your hands now? I think isn't working. Oh, oh wow. Will the bacteria be the thing that does you in? Such a pathetic end for such a terrible life. Haha, <laughs> like he wasn't even by the bathroom door. That was the key to the Chompest treasure box. You really stepped in it this time. Oh. Cabbage told me I had to rescue for you from this. I wanted to let you starve to death in here, but she insisted. Here you go. Thanks, Raspberry. This is the last favor you'll get from me. Goodbye, wretch. You let out a deep breath and exit the bathroom. Time to end this. You open the door and get ready for what's next. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. Begin your descent. <laughs> Spirits aren't active right now. They continue downward. <laughs> the walls. Down here, they're dirt and soot. Nothing. Keep moving downward. Different. <clears throat> Your pressure down here feels greater. Getting closer to Karen with each step. Something is approaching. False alarm. Are spears below going to spring a trap on you? Let's continue awesome. downward. You hear something in the distance. Hello? Hi. You shake your head. Oh. I have no clue what they're saying. Crying. Hold your breath and continue downwards. I don't know if I should be holding my breath on the staircase. <clears throat> Something is approaching. The game is purely fictitious. It could not harm you in any way, shape, or form. Uh-huh. When you regain consciousness, you're further down the staircase. You awake with a note next to your head. It's difficult to read, but you can make out a sentence. Don't get up before Saturday. 
take the Saturday note with you. <clears throat> I've got the Saturday note. Achievement progress. Taking notes. One out of five. The sound of rain is completely stopped down here. Your eyes are strained down here. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. Continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. You navigate the basement. Fly and lay until you reach the room with four directions. You barely make out the outlines of the door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? <coughs> South. <coughs> this room feels warmer when you enter. You begin sweating more than normal. There's a door at the end of the hallway, but it's so hot you feel like you're going to pass out. Slowly open the door crack and peer inside. Vines cover the entire ground. <laughs> Wake in a cold sweat. You're lying in the middle of the four directions. Which way do you want to go? As you open the northern door, a cold wind blows over you. This area reminds you of an underground cave. You make out a door at the end of this hallway. It's a bad feeling about opening it, though. Open it? Yes. You wake in a cold sweat. You're at the four doorways again. Yep, we gotta figure out what all is in here. You, your eyes struggle to see down this hallway. You strain your eyes to make out an outline of a door. You slowly open it. <laughs> Make it a cold sweat. You're lying in the middle of the four directions. I guess we're going east. Does the same thing happen if I go this another way again? Leave the door shut, staring at it. The room gets colder and colder. You begin to get sleepy. Eventually, you lie on the ground, your flesh slowly freezing until your heart makes one last pathetic pulse. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh. Peace. Your hands run across a large door. Maybe now isn't the time for this. You walk back to the basement steps, trying to remember why you came this far. Found you! <coughs> Let's end this. <laughs> oh. Stop stabbing her ass. Oh, Karen escapes down the hallway, leaving a trail of blood behind her. You follow her to the room in the east. Turn on the light. Reap what you have sown. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, Karen, I'll never forget you. Keep an unlock. The nightmare is over. Um. Cooking time is so much fun and Nothing bad could happen. Everything is totally great. But please do refrain from going in the basement. Cooking companions, your life just might end. Cooking companions, don't trust them. Press that onion. <laughs> Cooking time is so much fun, and nothing bad could happen. Everything is totally great, but.